And Stephen Timms. Will the Minister confirm that the assessment of the National Cyber Security Centre is that the risk posed by Huawei equipment to security in the 5G network is a manageable risk, and that that's based on long experience and a unique arrangement, I think, of working with Huawei over 10 years, looking very carefully at every Huawei product that comes onto the UK market? And what is his estimate of the impact on the speed of 5G rollout, rightly highlighted by my right honourable friend as a critical question, of excluding Huawei equipment from that network? Uh, well, first of all, Mr. Speaker, the uh, right hon. Gentleman is right to, to talk about managed risk, and of course he will recognise that in relation to Huawei, we have been managing the risk presented by Huawei's specific circumstances within the 4G network for some considerable time. Uh, and of course he is right also that we have to consider potential delay to the rollout by any measures that we may decide are necessary. I repeat the point that the most important criterion here is that we act in our national security interest. If that causes delay, then it seems to me that may well be the appropriate course, but we will need to decide that when we are in possession of all of the facts. Uh, and he has my assurance that when we do that, we will make the most balanced judgment that we can. Uh, and of course, as I said to my right honourable friend a moment or so ago, all commercial operators will need to take account not just of what we have said today, but of what they already know about the position in the United States and elsewhere. 